set up Macabalum. Gonna jump right into it. Oh, it is Friday, and we've got a lot of time to chill tonight. I am excited to hopefully get some good matches, and I my MMR now is... What am I at? What am I at? Hold on. I'm at... Uh... I'm at 683, which is pretty good for me. A little bit higher than what I've been at recently. Ironically enough, with the addition of the new, the three new units, somehow I'm doing better than I have been uh, recently, even though I hate, really, I, I don't like them. Um, I would like them, but better if you could use them at the start of the match, rather than have them only be surprise drops. Um, but I guess it helps me somehow, I don't know. Maybe other people are picking things that they shouldn't be because of that, I don't know. Alright. Uh... We're gonna go for... I do like Aerial Spec here. Let's go Aerial Spec. Let's turn this music down a little bit. Oh, I said a little bit. I said a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get some marksmen out here. Behind. Well, I guess in front of the Mustangs. We're gonna do Mustangs on the very back of the board. And throw out Fangs. In front of the marksman, please. Where? Three. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Then we'll do over here. Uh, two, three, two, three. Right? No, that's that's three. Two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Let's go with that. Starting off, he's got sledges, bangs, supply spec. Not great to be honest, but we do have aerial, so we can um, punish him a little bit with some wasps. I think. Shame. I am going to try to use Marksman a little bit more than I have been as well. Um, in this match, I'm going to try to use them as more like all rounder kind of unit and see if I can see if I can get some good headway with that. Ouch. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. No worries. Um, we will take definitely Scorpion so that we can, uh, hit him, uh, with the sludge, or hit, the, hit his sludges. We'll go ahead and get two more fangs as well so we can tank some of that damage from the Marksman 3. Four, five, ten, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, there we go. All right. That's all we really need there. I will unlock. I guess it depends on what he gets here. I'm going to unlock wasps. Next round, we'll unlock uh, phoenixes. Okay. Yeah, he's going. He's going even more on the fucking heavy tanks. What's up, King? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Not a lot. Not a lot's going on. I just, uh, it's Friday. No work tomorrow. Feeling pretty good. 
to stay dinner. Doing doing real real nice. We're breaking through on the right side. Taking out a sour. We got this. Maybe. Yeah, we got it. I might get a quick reload here soon. Okay, let's take... We don't even need smoke bomb. Let's just take a skip. He's probably gonna take smoke bomb on me though. Oh well. Upgrade, upgrade. Uh... Let's unlock the phoenix. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and take... Two phoenixes, because I don't think he's gonna have any anti-air to stop me. We'll do that. Upgrade there, and then we'll get... Probably get another marksman in the back here. I'd say he's got a race. All right, let's see how that fares. Hopefully, these phoenixes can redirect to the race here soon. I don't know. It's not looking good. Alright. Well, we got the race down. We still broke through. Those phoenixes are alive. Now we're fine. We're fine. Speed up. Okay. Um. Definitely enhance it module. Put that on the scorpion for stonking. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. We're gonna take... Uh... I kinda wanna do a crawler in the back line. Or in the in the flank over here. Let's try it. Just one. Just for one round. And then we'll get Um I think we'll get two more marksmen. Next round we can level them up. Two, three, four, five. He's got heavy armor, okay. My crawlers are gonna get a sour. That's for sure. Should have defended your flank a little bit better. Get shit on. Yeah, we're definitely taking quick reload next round. On the marksman. Uh, I don't want to get elite marksman yet, though. And we'll definitely upgrade them, too. Um... But I need a melting point, because it's a direct counter against a, a boat if he does go boat. We need to upgrade everyone here. And then... Yeah, I wanted a quick reload, so we'll do that. 
And we'll take two more phoenixes. Put them right next to the mustangs there. Maybe a little bit offset just in case he decides to do a javelin or something. Not car. And we're good. Where did he go? He went ride ups. Okay. Interesting. I probably should have put something in front of that I don't think point there. Well. And he's got another race now. Okay. His rhinos are doing work. He fails to realize, however, that I know how to use hackers. So that's not going to be good for him. Speed up. So one thing that right now players struggle the most on is trying to uh, do good against hackers. Oh, he's almost dead. All right. Um. Let's see. I can't really do absorption that well here. We're gonna do. We're gonna take a skip. Upgrade all the marksmen. That we can upgrade this scorpion for free again. And then we're gonna get some level 2 hackers on the field. Probably didn't need level 2, but it's nice to have. I don't know how that happened, but oh well. Um, we're also gonna take range on them. And we'll sh we should be fine now. Oh, damn. He got a bunch of guys. What the fuck? Did he get four guys? No, he didn't. Okay, that's weird. He got a bunch of crawlers. Hopefully these hackers can uh, get these rhinos taken care of for us. There we go. There we go. Oh, we even got the saber tooth. Nice. Speed up. GG's. Oh god, I hit the thing again. The wrong fucking thing. Turn to lobby. Alright, nice. We're at 7 8 now. Damn, Mike Tyson. Out there doing Mike Tyson stuff. He's got the Weekend Tournament European number 49 advanced group 1 number 6 spot. They really need to work on the naming conventions for these. I like ran out of breath saying that. Sires. That's a cool name. Alright. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What do I want here? Quick supply. I'm gonna take heavy armor. If you give me heavy armor and tanks, I'm gonna take it. It's a weakness that I have. Arc lights. On the sides. I love having an arc light on the side or on the sides to go up against flanks. Four five. Four five. Okay. And we're gonna take 
Honestly, we could probably we could probably take them on with two marksmen here. With the arcs on the side, sand in the middle, and the marksmen on par with the tanks. Now, if the crawlers if the crawlers target the marksmen, then we're kind of fucked. But I don't think they're going to. Oh, especially because he's got the crawlers on the sides too. I think we should be okay here. Even though that level three marksman is very scary. But we'll get some chaff out in front so he doesn't shoot them. Alright, get a marks. We need to out marksman him too. So T is marksman specialist. Speed up. I don't want to lose the range war. Supply spec, yes please. We're definitely doing bangs instead of crawlers. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, two, three, four, five, boom. All right, it's gonna take a couple minutes here, a couple minutes, a couple rounds to, uh, I think get the advantage over his level three marksman, but we'll get there. We will get there. The chaff definitely help. Uh, soak up a bunch of damage from him as well. It might even be worth uh, going into wasps a little bit so he gets distracted by the air. Just putting out a couple wasps on the on the board. Speed up. Come on. No. Oh well. It's okay. It's only around. Alright. So now. Ironically enough, I don't think I want wraiths. I think I want scorpions. For the range. And the damage. We're gonna put one here. Well, no, we're not. We're gonna put one here. And we're gonna give it. Uh, we're gonna give it nothing. I'm not gonna give it anything. Hold on. Let's um. Let's recover this arc. Move this down. I'll be like right there. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. We're gonna take three more things. Next round, we'll give them shields. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Four. Okay. I don't want to do a missile, we're fine. He's also got Scorps. My Scorps should take out Hiddison a second here. Oh, maybe not. The Crawler's run the way. Come on. Oh no, he's gonna take it out. No! Beat up. Alright, we'll be okay. We just need shields and we need some more um, distractions going on. We'll take supply again, that's fine. Alright, shielding. 
And... I can't really, um... Uh, you see the bike I post my pride and joy. Oh yeah, they're really nice. They're really cool. Good job. Um... I think we'll take... God, I can't really, uh... Can't really pick here. Um... We're gonna go for some front fangs. Before anything else engages. Or maybe some light fangs, actually. To come in once the beginning wave is being depleted. Then we'll do attack defense upgrades as well. Oh, he's got so many scorpions now. What a weirdo. I guess I'm going air. It's time to go overlords. Those light fangs really helped a lot. Damn, that Mark's been held up for a while. He's probably ready to level up now. He sure is. Okay, oh yes, overlords, thank you. Alright. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, upgrade everyone. It's round five now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the money. Hit two more. We're gonna go for a left side push. I'm left side focus, and yeah, we'll just deal with that for now. We're definitely going to be taking Mothership next round as well. And maybe range. Well, maybe range for us and Mothership. So, I know they changed Photon. After starting the battle, projected Photon coding to allies within 100 meters, reducing the damage they received by 30% within 20 seconds, and immune to MP acid after 20 seconds instead of 15. But they, I know they made it worse too. I don't know. I don't know what exactly it was. Okay, 50% to 30. What's up, Amarok? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, okay. Upgrade. Upgrade. Definitely gonna get range now, because they are very far behind. They're pretty far behind. Um, and then I'm gonna get... got a lot of scorpions. Let's put Amplifying Core on one of them. And we're gonna take... <laughs> we'll take another template over here. Alright, well, actually, hold on. Four, five. We'll put it up a little bit. Oh yeah, Monadu died a sizzling death today. 
Really? That sucks, I'm sorry. Alright, our range is doing good for us. A little better, that, that really hurt in the side there. Uh, yeah, he's got me here, unfortunately. GG's. I do like how I can pretty accurately, uh... Pretty accurately guess the, um... Watch for call it. The numbers on a round after I get hit or I hit someone else. And how much it's gonna go down. So, what happened, Amarok? To your monitor. It just fucking... It just blew up. How does a monitor overheat? Um... We're gonna go for group supply. Uh, group supply or supply spec? I'm gonna take supply spec. I have been enjoying using storms recently. Very old hardware. Power supply gave up in a sizzle. Now, this sucks. You have all sorts of hardware issues, don't you? All sorts of things go wrong on your stuff all the time. You just got bad luck, I guess. Two, three. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I needed to move those over. Two, three. Five. That's not even five. So this is four. There we go. Right, two, three. Oh, how did the, um, four, five. How did that thing go where you guys were playing different countries? Did you guys, did America win? I hope it did. One, two, three, four, five. There you are. I'll start with this. You won? No. My 750 GTX runs fine. GTX. Nice. I have no idea. Oh, it's fun. No, I think America's won. Oh, that's right. That's right. Who um who was the uh came down to the final match? Who were the who were the finalists? Do you remember? I know it was probably I think it was a while ago now, like a couple weeks ago. Like what who made up the teams? I didn't watch. Um okay, we're definitely taking okay. Against this setup. I want Saber Tooth. I want Saber Tooth. Two, three. And then... Trade. I don't like the balls as much. We're definitely gonna do... Two more Saber Tooths. I wanted to get range there, but I... Stopped myself because I don't technically need it right now. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Teams were me, Zach, Rooster, Mike Tyson versus Cody, Baller, Mumbo Jumbo, and someone else. Alright. Wait, Ammo, you were. 
or Emma, you were on um EU, or you were on you were with Zach against Rooster and Mike. Speed up. No, they were actually split two American and two EU. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Nice. Well, I'm glad we won. As God intended. Uh, we're gonna do absorption module on the saber twos. Gonna do range. On them as well, we're gonna get one more thing down here. Go over like that. And there, we're good. The names are mostly placeholder. Okay, okay, that's fine. Do you have an extra monitor? Or are you just like, are you just fucked? Are you gonna be able to get another monitor? I know you were using um, your laptop before, right? But no, that was for chat. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since... That, that was the case. Ooh, I like this song. It's a nice song. Bring it up a little bit. Sounds good. It's called The Final Frontier. Kinda hosed at the moment. Trying to find a replacement in time for the tourney tomorrow. Damn. Yeah, it's like 7.30 here. You have the old laptop in a pinch. Alright, nice. Damn, you're still streaming all of the tourneys? That's crazy. Okay, I might have turned it up too much. I might have turned it up too much. But down. 4.30, okay, okay, nice, nice. Ads, oh no. Okay, um... So we're gonna do incendiary bomb. What does it make incendiary bomb cheaper? Okay, we also need some anti-air now. I'm gonna take some phoenixes out. Two. Three phoenixes. We should uh, fuck up the race now. Hopefully. And take a defense upgrade. Hopefully the, um, the fire takes him out more than it takes us out. It should. We've got a lot more heavy units than he does. Unfortunately, my phoenixes are caught up on this other shit right now, except for the race. That sucks. Yeah, we need to take the wraith out. If we take the wraith out, I think we're good. Uh, we might even be ever yeah, we're good right now anyways. Okay. We're gonna do skip here. Back, nice, nice. Welcome back. Um upgrade. We're definitely taking range. On them. We're gonna get three more phoenixes as well. Every once in a while I get into a silly little mood where I like to do a lot of phoenixes. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, 
God, this music is so good. Okay. You love Phoenix? Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they? They're like they're like one of the most balanced units, I think, in the game right now. They're very they're very good, but they're not like they're not like overwhelmingly good. They're really good in place, yeah. Oh, they're really they're in a really good place, yeah. I love Quantum too. I know a lot of people don't use Quantum. I like Quantum a lot. Man, he's kicking my ass though. Real, real right. We'll get over it. <laughs> Let's see, I've got 2100 left. I'm not dying this round. I'm gonna take some Vulcans next round. Damn, look at that. I do hate how the fucking top of the saber tooth pops off like that. It looks really stupid. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Take two Vulcans out. You're gonna put them on the sides. Long time no see, good to see you playing. Yeah, what's up, Mike? How's it going? I saw you were in 2v2s a second ago. How did those go? Welcome, welcome back. Uh, I've been on- I've been streaming, but I've mostly just been streaming, uh, Grimworld. Grand Dude Hamster Rancher. Because the new DLC for Rimworld came out, and I've been having a blast with it. Pretty good, played Jerusky and Salt, nice. Uh, I still got fucking shields, dude. I should have got I should have got shields on my thing. Oh well. Okay, speed up. Digi's Bambasa. Digi's. I like how, um. I like how every once in a while I get, uh. The streamer registration thing just falls off of my account. And I have to reapply for it again. I don't know why it does that. Uh, one man. Let's see how we go against him. Is Rome World multiplayer? Um, no, not, not like normally, but you can get a mod to make it multiplayer. So it's like, kind of, I guess. But no, it's not meant to be played multiplayer. It's mostly meant to be played single player. And you don't have that happen to you? Yeah, it happens to me a lot. It's happened like three times since I got since the first time I was registered. All of them. All right. We're gonna go for. What I wanna do. I think we'll go for the good old strategy that I did for like a million years. That I haven't done in a while. Get two arcs over here. And over here. Those of you who recall, it is the penis strategy. We just need the marksman in order to finish it on each side and then we need this one. Ah, I'm not gonna do... Storms like three down. Like that. 
I need an avatar of Mike Tyson for my streams. Oh, uh, you should do that. You should do that, fire. Er, fuck, Mike. It always messes me up. It always messes me up because I'm reading it. And it's like, I want to say it. I really like, I still like this strategy though. It's very nice for early like rounds. It really, really holds them. Well, I mean, I don't have any marksmen, but I guess the sledges and the storms kind of make up for it a little bit. What did he get? He supply spig? I think he bought three marksmen. No more rhino. Oh, I had some really good games with the rhino yesterday as well. They were pretty nice. Okay. Um, we're gonna... Ooh, we're gonna subsidize Mustangs. Yes, please. I will always take subsidized Mustangs. In fact, let's just go ahead and put them down. Two of them. Uh, we will get them on the sides. So they'll come in late. Man, I wish I had a redeployment. But I don't, unfortunately. Okay, but they will be coming in later. Uh, let's do... Yeah, I'll just do that for now. What did he get? Oh, I heard something drop. What was it? Oh, uh, you got Mustangs as well. Oh, you're just doing the same thing as me. Alright. Maybe not. He's got a marksman. He only got one unit of uh, Mustangs. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. How have you been, Mike? What you been up to? Besides, playing a shit ton of Macabellum, probably. Speed up. Alright, that never got a lot better. One, two, three, four. We just need to take out these marksmen. Uh, Phoenixes? No. Fire badges, maybe. I'll take free fire badges. I haven't really experimented with fire badges that much. Does uh does liquid fire hurt uh, your guys as well? I'm assuming it does. Not a whole lot. Working mainly. Nice. I guess we could... Hold on. Oh, I forgot to get marksman, by the way. It's like the whole part of the penis strategy, so it looks like a penis. Alright. Look what fire hurts you on, guys. Damn. Alright. Thank you. Um... Go uh, here. One, two. One, two. We're taking a range. And we'll send them out. Again, he's doing the same thing. He does not have range, though. He took range on his sledges. Which is interesting. We're gonna hopefully take out these uh, crawlers before they get too close to us here. Nice. I think we're good now. We're in a good place. If 
by Madge, you're very short range, very low damage, can be almost entirely negated by armor tech. Alright. He is... Oh, okay, okay, hold on. So we've got Rhino now. HP, attack, super heavy armor. I don't want any of that. Um, we're gonna go... We're gonna go attack. And we're gonna grab... <laughs> I think I want... Um... I think I want some wasps. I'm gonna put them over here with the rhino. Next round, we will um, sell the rhino and then we'll get jump drive on the wasps. Jump drive them away. gonna like sandwich it though so he doesn't die immediately like that none of them are gonna be pulled over to it either looks like yeah we're good there and then upgrade okay we're good oh of course this fucking mustangs which mustangs down there the red fire is great, and while hearts chaff units, the fire badger is tough enough to advance right through it, no problem. All right. Fire flank fire badgers cause a lot of trouble, leave space for a badger in between the wasps. All right, we got the tower. Get shit on. Speed up. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, okay, now... I'm gonna take a level two melting point. I've been really enjoying the melting point recently. It's been great. We're selling the rhino. Uh, where's the that? There it is. Selling the rhino. We're getting jump drive. Upgrade the wasps. Come back here. Come put the wasps here this turn. We're gonna get crawler production. And then we're gonna take... Um... I don't need EMP. I don't really even need range, honestly. On him. Let's go... Extra wasps. It's round five too, so I'm gonna start taking uh, money. And we'll get... Oh. I wanted to get range, but the only thing we can afford is armor piercing. Oh well, I guess we'll just take upgrades. No defense upgrade. Um. Oh, nice. We put the melt in aside with the race. Oh, we also put all the wasps on the side with the race, unfortunately. Oh well, we have jump jack now. I will take range next turn on the melting point too to hopefully get this guy taken care of relatively fast.
Spiele. I'm good, Anna. I'm good. I know you want to help. I know you want to help. I just, I'm just trying to have fun. I appreciate it, though. Uh, ooh, assault melting point. Increase melting points HP by 70% and movement speed by 3, but decreases range by 15. That's cool. I've never seen that before. We're gonna take, uh, lazy sight. We're gonna go range. And then I will get another melting point as well. Uh, just for you, Ammo. And... Go there. But in that melt is gonna be brutal for that position. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty bad for him. That raise isn't gonna live very long at all. Especially laser sight plus range. Excuse me, sorry. I do hate that all my wasps died. I need to reposition them next turn. Still got my tower. Speed up. Alright, we'll be okay. We're gonna reposition the wasps now. And we're gonna um, also take them... Take a javelin. Can we javelin the wraith out of existence? We can. Unless he sells it. Or moves it. But I don't think he can move it. Alright. Reposition. We're gonna give them shields. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to put some uh, phoenixes with them as well for some support. So we're going to do one, two, two, three, two, three, we'll some silver, two, Two, two. All right, we'll do that. And then, I guess we're gonna shields on the phoenixes as well. That works. Or we could do well. We could do one upgrade on the fucking melting point, but we don't need it. I don't think. We'll just do shield. Up. Uh, that's not good. Well, at least we'll take out the rays. That is nice. Alright, bye bye, race. All my poor crawlers that are getting spawned into fire. They're alive for like two whole seconds before they get absolutely obliterated. what I'm gonna do now. Um, I think... 
If you try to brute force do the Mustangs, but it's only four Mustangs. Like, it's not, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Ah, uh, Hold on. I'm gonna fucking squirt my way out of it. When in doubt, scorp your way out. We're gonna rage, upgrade. Three, 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 three. Get fucked. Um, hopefully he doesn't get anything else. Remind me that's if you mad at me. Yeah. I've been trying to stay away from Scorps for a while. I was relying too heavily on them before. Like, way too heavily on them, but... Then I stopped, like, using them at all, and it was just bad. Because, like, then I just was ignoring them. I should have taken an attack upgrade there instead of a missile. Oh, well. Two anti-missiles, okay. That's a lot of Scorps. It sure is. Scrubs are my bread and butter, but like, I just haven't been using them at all. And arguably, I think they're still pretty useful too, since all the new, all the new um, units are all ground-based as well. Especially with the ability of these to use acid. I think, I honestly think that we're about to win like the whole round now because we've got fucking Scorbs now. And the whole match. Uh, and I'm gonna take double shot next turn too, which is gonna be even better. Speed up. He's got a weak marksman. Alright. Here we go. Oh, they can all level up too now. Increases HP. Uh, hold on. So, let's see. Three, six, nine. How much is this upgrade? This 150. Okay, we're gonna skip. Watch this. Rapid resupply, master group, man. Three more. Double shot. Upgrade. Upgrade two random ones in the middle. One. Two. And then we'll do another one. And then left. Alright. Even if he gets hackers, he's fucked. He's not gonna be able to fucking out. Like, he's just super fucked. He's built so heavily into, like, heavy units and marksmen and fucking all these stupid, stupid little. Oh, it's. Yeah, shields isn't gonna matter either because I now got double shot. Hackers won't even reach scorpions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it will. Poor green baby. I like how in two rounds we now have like what nine squirps? Speed up. Of... 
speed up. Again, nine and two rounds. Yeah. And we're winning. We're winning. Skip. Upgrade. 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 All of them. Let's see. So... Ah, uh, hold on. I don't think field repair is worth it. <laughs> Honestly. He's got five... Level five marksmen, they do... 26k damage. Yeah, they one shot to Scorch if they re if they reach them. Um, hold on, let's upgrade. And not even do that. Let's just get some. Uh... Let's get some more range on the on the storms and try to take them out. Take out the marksmen, or at least put them in front of the. The scorpions, so that the marksman has something else to shoot at that's slow and in front of the scorpions. And take enhanced range. And take attack upgrade. This is GG's. Oh, he's got fucking. Oh no! He took two war factories of Phoenix. That's not good. As long as our as long as our marksmen stay alive, we should be okay. But if they don't, and those phoenixes get through, then we're kind of fucked. I think we're built right. All right, one more factory is down. Two more factories down. I think we're fine. Left acting to Scorpion Melter is ambitious, yeah. GG's. When in doubt, Scorpion out of it. Alright. Thanks, Ammo. Back up to 700 now. Let's take a look at Scorpion now fast. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't. They haven't had it anymore. But that one felt good. It did feel good. I, I really have been staying away from Scorpion recently because I've been trying to broaden my skill set. But I think Scorpion is where I belong, you know? Scorpion is literally my best unit. I think if there was, if there was a stats thing that showed you, like, the, like, the unit that you won the most matches with, it would be Scorpion for me. Alright, let's do one more. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, what's the meta now? Do they have... Do they have a... Is there a meta? I've been playing other games. Like, is it still, um... Still, like, Boat? Vulcan? Or whatever the fuck it was? Like, a month and a half ago? It's evolving? Hasn't settled yet. Alright. Our typhoons is our typhoons as good as everyone says they are because I've used them a couple times and they don't seem like all that. I saw people in the Discord being like, "The typhoon is broken. The typhoon is uh, the best unit in the whole game." Obviously, that's you know extreme, but all right. I'm gonna do storms in the middle. We're gonna do 
some late crawlers. Or not late crawlers, we're gonna do some tower crawlers here. Great, we'll set this up we'll set the back line up with crawlers and then we'll build the front line. I wish everyone had range. Arc boat. How's it gone, busy? Both still good, but we passed through crawly sludge and arc is really strong. Okay. So Mustang is great, but that's the fire rate. Typhoon is a tanky Mustang who doesn't care about fire. The missiles have 180 range, but yeah. Yeah. Alright. I think out of the three new units, I like the um I like the Sabretooth the best. The the Typhoon is pretty good, like like it's definitely not bad at all, but like I don't think it's like the god S tier that some people are making it out to be. But I like the Sabretooth a lot. Mostly just because like for me at least, for the way that I use I use tanks and like sledges and stuff. Um, I can just substitute it in for a sludge unit, and it works about as well. Typhoon fits the role of Vulcan for me. Nice. Probably last, but this will test the MMR. Oh wait, I queued into Sako and Sir Par. Who's Sir Par? I've never heard of them. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start leading back into Scorps again. Let's put, them, let's put this one in the middle. Well, actually, it would be stupid not to put it over here, because that's where his tanks are. Not yet. Hanging with rain via the ancient laptop. The one on which the PT doesn't work. Bam. Okay, he also went scored. So, um, did arcs get buffed, or did people just start using them more? Because all three of the new units, I think, are, like, heavier armored, right? Wouldn't the arcs not do as well against them? Positioning this formation is really solid. I like it, thanks. Arcs got a plus 13% attack and HP buff? Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Are kind of buff. Damn. All right. All right. I still think that um, I think that uh, assault marksman shouldn't really be a thing. I like it. I like playing with assault marksman, but I feel like I feel like assault marksman just kind of turns it into like a, an arc light a little bit. I don't really like it that much. Like as a as an idea as a tech. Am I wrong? Like, do you guys feel differently about that? You feel like, um... Like, I feel like you're paying to make the marksman behave like an arc light. I don't know. It just feels weird. I never really warmed up to it all that much. Even though I do like playing it, I just never really liked the idea of it. Um... Mobile beacon. We could try to run. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I want to try to run these crawlers just straight up the field. And over to the left like that. Let's see. Can we run them over to the flank? I think we can. Oh, we can, yeah. Yeah, turn them up over here. All right, we're gonna get one beacon. Thank you. 
Crowler got a big buff, so Ark got a buff. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Um... What else do I want to do here? I think we'll just take two more Scorbs. One there. One here. No, he did a smoke grenade, that's fine. No worries, no worries. Crawler was plus 20% recently, minus 30%, but it was overturned to the point arcs didn't even one shot. Crawler. Oh wow. That's messed up. Alright, let's see if the crawlers go for the beacon. Or the thing. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Well I thought they I thought they would maybe go for the Oh well. Oh well. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth seeing. Can you stack beacons? Uh, I know you can buy them now, but can you stack them like, can you put one beacon here and then put another beacon from here to here? No? Oh, uh, that, that sucks. Well, maybe like if you had two beacons, they could do it to where like, uh... Hold on, I know he's about to do- I know he's about to do this shit to me, so I'm gonna do it to him as well. Um... Maybe, like, if you had two beacons, right? You could do it to where... It was just doubled the lengths. And you could pick, like, you could pick when you clicked here. It would say one or two. And if you could click two, and it would be double the lengths. And you would use both of them. You know what I mean? Sticky oil bomb. Oh wait, shit, I don't have fire right now. Okay, let's get fire. Oh, I don't have fire in there, do they? Fuck. Hold on, let's not use it then. Let's turn. What is this fucking... Mama Mia music we got going on over here? Uh, upgrade. 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 Just get two more. Do that. All right. And then I think we'll get a defense upgrade. I just saw a pizza music fits. Feels like a medieval pub. It's Hearts of Iron music. I knew he was gonna do it. I knew he- didn't I call it? I called it. I called it. I'm a clairvoyant. He's a fucking spell Andy over here. He didn't even use fire on me. He just used it to use a spell. Well, it's not even a lot better. Oh my god, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I I feel like I own the rights. I own the copyright rights to all all Paradox games now since I've spent probably well over like $300 on Stellaris. And played like I think over a thousand hours now so I feel entitled uh let's see I can do laser sights all right get range on the score get laser sights on the middle score we're gonna bust it out, homie. 900? No, I couldn't get... I wouldn't be able to get three of them. We need tanks, though. We need tanks in the middle here. Alright, this song's kinda... This, this song's kinda slapping. Stellaris plus Hoi 4 are such good games. Oh yeah, they are. 
We're about to start a new Solaris run. Either tomorrow or Sunday. I haven't decided yet. They announced a new DLC too for Solaris. It's coming out May 11th. I'm excited for that. Oh damn, this music's good. Oh my god, you hear it? Turn it up a little bit. I'm over here, pogging. Can't believe how much Paradox have messed up City Skylines 2 though, yeah. I was gonna play it on stream originally and then everybody hated it, so I was like, well, I guess I'm not playing it. I'm not gonna play a game that nobody wants to watch. It's so bad, yeah. I've heard, I've seen too, all the bugs and stuff. Chow, chow, chow. Okay. Um. Alright, melting points. Melting point Scorps is working very nicely. I'll take Crawler Production. Uh, we're gonna take. But not, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it at that. And then we're gonna do. The song has no right to be this good. What was going on? I feel like it's speaking into my soul right now. God, did you hear the way she like rolled her R there? That's crazy. Alright. We'll take the May plus 12. Uh, wait, we'll take the community plus 12 months to fix it with mods. Don't we want a center melting point versus the L2 Vulcan? Uh, I guess the level 2 score plus center storms have it targeted. Um, oh, I'm just doing it centered. Like, I'm doing it like. This is the one thing that I always. People always get mad at me about. Like, I have to do it. It has to be even for me. So I'll do I'll probably do multi points next round, especially with these forts. But if I put one there, then I would feel my brain wouldn't allow that. I have to do it even. Yeah, we're taking we're taking two center melting points. Offset a little bit. Damn, we still fucked him up real good though. Does anybody does anybody uh, remember when I fucking Goomba stomped Uncle Lazy out of existence in the tournament like a couple months ago now? That was crazy. Alright, we're doing this. And it, I, I beat him so hard he came to the channel and subscribed. No joke. He was like... He was like, that was such a good move. Here's five dollars. He paid me. Range. Little sense of sportsmanship, yeah. You like that? You like that move? You like that move? I like it too. All right, we're taking range. We're taking range and... What else do I want here? Um... Got 17 seconds. I mean, we could take high mobility. I'm not a huge fan of getting it right now, though. Take mobile beacon. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, okay. Oh shit. Oh well. Ran out of time. Damn, he fucking healed it. Oh well. All 
I like how the melting points have like personal bodyguards. Personal scorpion bodyguards. That's kinda that's kinda cool. Not gonna lie. Alright, he did break through the middle. We're gonna have to get some more backup in the middle if he wins this round. It probably would be good to do a double shot on the scorpion as well. Wait, maybe not. We might win. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Speed up. Oh, I think... Oh, yeah, we won. GG's. GG's. Uh-oh, Emma. You fucking... You little bitch. You put... You made those emotes look way too good, sir. Minus, Amarok minus 50. Amarok plus 50. What is all this? What is all this? Sir? Amarok race? I see you out here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see you. All right, we'll do another one because I'm having fun now. Welcome home, gamer. I never saw that before. On the backdrop of your channel. I screenshotted and laid around a dip of it. That's fine. It looks good. It really does. It looks real nice. Amara, guess how many guess how many messages you've sent in my chat. What, is this a screenshot of a game? That looks like Factorio. 150 plus? Okay, you're right. Oh, it's new today? Wow, that's crazy that I clicked on it then. Okay, it's, it's more than 150. It's, uh, okay, let's see. Well, after those last two, it would be 229. That, that was really close. 150 to 175, that's really close. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, my ears. Stop. Stop fucking my ears, Scandinavian summer sweet. Polka. Oh god. Alright, they got music that's all over the place. Alright, alright, hold on, hold on, I gotta... Alright, we're stopping the hearts of iron, alright. Let's do... Let's do... A... Yeah, I will give whoever guesses whoever guesses what this original soundtrack is next. Uh, hold on, what do I want to give away? Um, nothing of value. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, let's do shit. What do I want to do? All right, the next. Okay. Whoever get whoever is the first person to guess what this soundtrack is from, this next one, which it will be almost immediately, by the way, because it's pretty recognizable. Um, you will get either the next planet in Stellaris that I colonize, or the next uh colonist in Rimworld that I get. I will name them one of those two after you, depending on which game I play next. <laughs> Alright, starting. It's, it's immediate, like, people are gonna get it immediately. Ha, huh, I filed a blog on Paradox forums about an animation and listed it as being 400 milliseconds and had people ask me how I knew or ask if I'd use a stopwatch. Oh, damn. Nice. A planet, the Ammo Rock. That's actually a good name. It might be a little low. 
Can you guys hear good? I feel like... I feel like... I feel like you guys should have got it by now. It's really distinctive. Yeah. It, it is. It is distinctive. Alright. I feel like I've, if I'd seen it, I'd know, but it's something I didn't watch. It's a game. I guarantee you, you've seen gameplay of it. In like a review. Or something. I mean, I guess you wouldn't know, would you? If you never played it. That's crazy. I used to listen to the soundtrack before I even bought the game. Oh, bitch. And do it right now up the middle. Rip to left side, I mean. It's, uh... Well, I guess nobody got it. Uh, it's Hades. Yeah. That's crazy. You know what really sucks though? The guy that I used all of my like background music for. Um, uh, meant to say thank you. Um, the guy that I've been using all my background music for. He either deleted his channel or he got banned or something. I don't know what happened, but his channel no longer exists on YouTube. So now I can't use it anymore. So I'm having to find other things to play. Oh no, it's there. It's fine. It's all right. I honestly don't know what happened to him. I was gonna go live one day and he was gone. <laughs> oh well. Happens, I guess. Okay. We're gonna take... I think we'll take our crawler. A late crawler. In the back. I guess that's what a late crawler is. I don't know why I had to explain it. Need to find my, my music from my channel for sure. I would just play whatever you like. What are they gonna do? Complain about it? Fuck them. Okay, those crowds are good. What kind of music do you like, Amarok? I try to do ambient music mostly. Cause I, I, I do chill, well I don't do chill, but like I try to do like more chill streams, like casual streams than anything. This foot so satisfying, yeah they do. What kind of like, like video game? Music do you like or whatever? Cinematic chill would be about what I'd want. For the longest time, I used um, I I don't know if you remember or not, but I used that uh the radio chatter. The radio chatter on my stream, I really like that. Uh, you can just find that on YouTube. But there's like a bunch of there's a bunch of nice stuff like that, but. The only problem is, is you don't know if it's copyright or not until you post it. Or like sometimes on stream, you know, it'll like, it'll tell you when the stream's done, if it was copyright or not, but you won't know. They could say no copyright or copyright free, but a lot of times there's still copyright shit in there. 
and then you're just fucked. Uh, if you try to post on YouTube or something, it like mutes it. Which sucks. I'm putting a Vulcan down here. Putting a Vulcan down there. And we're gonna get... Um... Two Phoenixes as well. Over with it. No champ. Upgrade. Upgrade. I don't want to make sure I'm honoring copyright. Well, it's not even just that you're honoring it, it's just that, like... It's just that, like, you have to be real careful. Because, like... Sometimes, there's even, like, some cases where, like, you can buy the copyright... Like, rights, and you'll still get... You'll still get struck. Sometimes, like, it's just hard. Even when you have the rights, it's just real hard. I mostly try to do, like... I either do, like, ambient stuff, or I do, like... Soundtracks from games where the developers have said, like, anyone can use this. It's, like, public domain. Like, Risk of Rain, uh, Risk of Rain 2 has, um, like, publicly, uh, their developers have, like, said that you can use their stuff for streams. Hades has said that you can use their stuff for streams. I think Doom said that you can use their stuff for streams, too. I'm not sure about that one. The new Dooms. But a lot of them, if you look them up, they'll tell you. Also, if you do video game soundtracks, a lot of times you won't get struck. But I say that, but like I get... I've had a couple of my videos now. Like I'm just playing RimWorld normally, right? And the RimWorld original soundtrack while I'm playing RimWorld will play. And then later when I go look at it, it'll say uh, this this video like violates copyright blah, blah 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 and it's just the soundtrack from the game that I'm playing and it's like what the like what it's stupid so I just turned off the RimWorld music because it's fucking dumb that flank would work really well with the fire badger nice Why has he got all those people on the right side? Upgrade. Alright, we're doing a missile there. Try to take out some of those crawlers. Keep a bunch of Mustangs right there. I guess I would too. I would too. I think he's gonna die now. Speed up. Oh, he's at 122. All right, let's do... Um, you know what? I think we'll do a level six Rhino. I, I really hope he doesn't take Hacker though, cause he would, he would really fuck me up if he did. We're gonna take the Rhino. Alright, we'll take that. We're gonna get Whirlwind. We'll take Whirlwind and we'll take Field Maintenance. Get Rapid Resupply. Crawlers. 
This is what I like to call the Tunnel of Doom. I'm sure people have done this before. But this creates such a nice little pocket for the Rhino. It's just nice. He doesn't get hacked at all. If someone tries to hack him. We're going to do a defense upgrade as well. All right, this is for the win. He did not, he did not take the hacker. Oh no, he did take the hacker. On the right side though, it's gonna be too late by the time our Rhino gets to it. Also, I just realized that I do not have very good anti-air. So it's gonna suck, but oh well. Go Rhino, go. Rhino, go burr. Get him. Yeah, we're gonna... Well, I guess we'll have a couple things, but they're not gonna be enough to take out the... the overlords. Jake Marchman did well versus one, yeah. The Rhino... Our Rhino was very well placed in comparison to his hacker. I think Isakri's dead now. Oh no, it's not. Alright, we just need... We just need some anti-air and we're good. The Rhino was excellent, thank you. That's how I place Rhinos now. Because I always hack people's Rhinos when they when they try to rail me. And um, when I run out other people... my I don't know if you remember now, but my biggest weakness in Macabellum used to be that I sucked with Rhinos. Like awfully, like like horribly bad. Oh wait, hold on a second. Aw, oh, damn. Um, but now, if I just, I realized if I just place crawler, oh wow, we almost won with all the people that were left. Now if I place, I realized if we place crawlers all around them, they won't get hacked. Uh, heavy armor, yes please, on the Rhino. And then... We're gonna do copycat. That's your biggest weakness. Yeah, that's true. We had a more anti wasp more than anti overlord. Yeah, I was thinking about getting. Uh... Hold on, let's move these phoenixes. Let's move these phoenixes over here. We're gonna get uh, some mustangs. That's your biggest weak- is that really your biggest weakness is- is using rhinos? Because that- that- that was mine for the longest time. I- I mean, probably still is, if I'm being honest. I'm being perfectly honest. Put these next to each other. We're gonna take anti-air. They're gonna go riding with the with the rhino. Gonna get range as well. And take the attack upgrade. Alright, you got a smoke grenade. It really is. I can watch rap videos and how he pulls it up and everything with himself. Damn. Oh god, he got more he got more overlords. Good thing we put all the Mustangs together. Should be able to hopefully have them run together in a group. With the rhino in front. I think we got it. Especially with the super heavy armor on the rhino. They'll be able to tank everything, I think. Up. He really fucked up that hacker placement, like bad. Like bad, bad. Hey Mumbo, doing good, how are you? We are... gonna win. 
Wow, my hacker just completely, or my uh, my Randall just completely fucked up his hacker. I mean, it's on a tidy winning streak right now. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I have won like three in a row. Now, I think. Do a little nice little thumbs up marksman. Does anyone know what game this is from? Uh, I guess it's hard to see probably on the stream. It looks really familiar. I don't know what that's from. There's like a little infograph down here at the bottom. I don't know. And then there's like this. It almost looks like a like a tycoon, like open trading tycoon or something like that. I don't know. Rana gets no fucks. Looks like your style of game, yeah. I wonder if he's winning in that screenshot. I don't know. Maybe. You could have been. Damn, we like that music though. That's a nice sultry, sultry manly voice. What is this music? It's Hades. It's good. It's good, Grace. Let them play the strings. Let them cook. It sounds good. You don't, you don't like it? I don't know. Maybe I read into it wrong. I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think? You like it, Grace? All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one last one. For real. One last one for real. Dude, steam is like flying water. It's interesting. Oh, she says that when she doesn't like something. I'll be like, I'll be like, hey, how do you like, I don't know, this thing. And she'll say, oh, it's good, if she likes it. And then she'll say, it was interesting. <laughs> she doesn't like it. It's very polite. It's a very polite way of saying that she doesn't like something. Ah. Uh, um, we're going to do supply spec. Here, let's change it. We'll change it up. We'll change it up. We'll do... I know she likes this music. I know she likes this music. I think. I can't remember which theme specifically she likes. I think it's this one. I think. I think. with hates interesting or if I say sounds good oh I say sounds good all the time I say that to normal people as well is this persona it is persona it's persona 3 I, th I think you like that one I'm I think oh, okay yeah okay, he likes it All right, we're doing... Oh wait, three? What's wrong with three? Does it matter? I don't know. Are there good personas and bad personas? It's only been a few hours and I'm in withdrawals. Yeah, Emma? Damn. And was like, if my computer screen works, I'd be playing Megabellum instead of instead of saying that this is my last game over and over again. And I'd play it all night long. That's how much I want to play it. <laughs> Bro, I went a week without streaming and I miss it so much. Really? Uh, when I go, let's see. It, normally I stream, I try to stream every day. Normally I stream at least twice in a two day period. Sometimes it's like sometimes it's like two in one day and then not the next day. The longest I've went without streaming since I started last year was like a week and a half. And that was because I had a really busy work schedule. But you seem tight. But um it's now something that like I can go a day without it. 
I can go like two days without it, but then it's like kind of pushing it. And then like on the third day, like I definitely have to stream. My wife is out of town with two girlfriends, so it's a stream weekend for Mumbo. All right, nice. Mumbo, what's your MMR at now? You were going like, you were going like, uh, astronomically high the last time I saw you. Alright. Yeah, when will be here tasting and pulling her hair out, like, I gotta stream, I gotta stream. Well, yeah, sometimes it's like that, you know? Because you feel like, you know how you feel when, like, you're like, I wonder if people are wondering where I am right now. You know what I mean? You guys get that feeling? I wonder if, like, I wonder if, like, anyone's noticed that I haven't streamed in the last 16 hours. That's how I feel sometimes. I think single, I'm like 1380-ish. Okay, nice. Where's my crack pipe? Where's my crack pipe? I don't wonder because no one cares about me. That's not true. I care about you, Grace, and I love you. And you're awesome and pretty. Persona does have some nice music. I will say. It's not in the style, it's not in the genre of music that I like, but for the genre, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's very good. It kind of reminds me of, um, like Nintendo games. Is it a Nintendo? I don't think it's a Nintendo game. Uh, Fall of Valkyrie has been following you for almost exactly one year, Rain. The 24th is their follow date. Aw, that's cute. Say, you wanna know, you wanna know a secret? You wanna know a secret? This is the secret, okay? I made this Twitch account, not so that I could stream video games to other people. Well, well okay, to one person. I made this Twitch account so that I could stream specifically to her because we were a year ago at this time. Well, okay, a little bit. Okay, so year ago this time, we were not living together. And she wanted me to play Prey, and I never played it before. So I made I made this Twitch account so that I could stream Prey to her. So she could see my reactions. Or my reaction to it. That's that's the whole reason my, my Twitch channel exists. One, two, three. One, two, three. The rest is history. Sure is. Emma says, too cute. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me, though. Prey is pretty scary. I didn't finish it. Unfortunately. But it was good. It was good. I need to stop putting crawlers down. What am I doing? Mambo, did, uh, are you crazy now? Did you lose your mind? Do you, oh, do you just speak in the third person at all times? You barely made a dent in it. Hey, look, I tried though. I did good for, I did good for a story game. Don't look at me like that. She's giving me the look. I did good for a story game. I don't play story games. I loved, okay. Witcher 3 was probably one of my favorite open world games of all time. I, I, I got maybe like a third of the way through it. Cyberpunk. Loved it. I actually beat Cyberpunk. Like the week it came out, but I didn't do any of the story. I mean, I, I, I did do this. I only did the story, pretty much. Because it was very buggy. And then I got to the end. Come on, hack that fort. Rain actually finishes a story game challenge level impossible. That's true. I don't ever finish story games. I haven't finished The Witcher. I haven't finished, uh, him. Oh god, Elden Ring. I haven't even finished Elden Ring. I love Elden Ring. I I did finish Bloodborne. I finished Bloodborne. Uh, I did not finish Sekiro. Fuck Sekiro. Sekiro is the worst Dark Souls game. Uh, bar none. Change my mind. Just kidding, you can't. 
Uh, hold on. We need we need some more sledges. Sekiro is so bad for a fucking for a from software game. Like it, it throws everything up on its head for what for like your fucking uh, instincts and shit. I love this game so much, but you know what? I'll never, I'm never gonna finish at it. I'm never gonna finish it or look at it again. You'd sit into the void. Well, okay. See, that's the beauty of it, though. I stop playing a game right before it starts getting boring, when I'm having the mo the maximum amount of fun, and then I always remember it fondly. Always, always. Prey was a good game. I liked it. Am I ever gonna touch it again? Probably not. But I'm never gonna touch Witcher either. And I'm ever gonna touch. Well, I might touch Elden Ring again. I should probably not say that I'm gonna touch it. That makes it sound weird. Yeah, you think I'm crazy for replaying a game over and over? Look, cause, cause Miss Ma'am over here is on her 28 or whatever the fuck playthrough of Far Cry 5. That's a that's a little that's a little. It's a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's a little bit of replays. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. All right, I guess Amos got you back. Fall or uh, Fallout? I almost got you Fallout. Ah, uh, Grace. Man, she stopped being my fiance and she started being my chatter. What a demotion. Peanut butter and jelly. What are they talking about? Oh man, I'm gonna lose. Wait, I actually haven't been looking at the health this entire game. I'm at 237. What the hell? How did that happen? Okay. Um... Alright, we got sludges. <laughs> I don't remember any of- I blacked out. I don't remember any of what just happened. Um... How do I save this? Hold on. Let me think. He doesn't have any anti-air. I mean, he's got fangs. Okay, he does have- he has Mustangs as well. Words are crushing us? Okay. Alright, we're gonna get some melting coins. In front of the hackers. Melting coins in front of the hackers. It's round five and I'm almost dead. What the fuck happened? Okay. Uh range. I can't imagine loving a game and never touching it again. That's okay. That's fine. I, I, for whatever reason, okay, so the games that I do replay the most, though, are, um, games that have no story, and ironically, like Mechabon or Stellaris. I guess Stellaris has lore. Uh, or RimWorld. I like games based on their mechanics, mostly. And less so their uh, their story. If the game has really really good mechanics, then I will replay it forever. Um, and I guess the story, the story for me, makes it like I don't know. I don't know. It does something to me. I don't know. Uh, the Binding of Isaac I played probably over like 2,000 hours in across all devices. I love that game as well. Wow, those two forwards really did it for us. Yeah, I actually prefer games with an emergent story rather than a planned... a planned experience once story. I do think that there is... I do think that there is a... There is a line, though. I, I do like... I like handcraftedness to an extent. I like... It's really hard to explain. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, like, I like handcraftedness up to a certain point. And that point is like, if the game, if the game is trying to force me into one direction and make me go down a story path that I don't want to do, even if it's an open world game, but like all things are pointing to like this one place and the game's like, go on, you know, you want to go over there. Then I'm like, I'm okay, and then I stop playing it. I don't know. I, I don't. I I think it's I think it's something like a like a 
I feel like there's no choice in that moment for me. Whereas something like like this or like the Binding Resig or whatever, it's always your choice what you're doing at all times. So, I don't know. But I, I get that. I guess some people like to... Some people like to have a, an experience where it's like, you know, story-based and structured. Makes sense. We're gonna do the same thing I did last time. Last match. Let's see if it works. Also, Rain pays attention, crushes it. Railroading. Wait, I'm losing. I haven't been paying attention. What's railroading? Alright, here comes the Rhino. Hello, Mr. Fort. Goodbye, Mr. Fort. What did he take? Oh, he took the Typhoons. That's right. We have already with storyline, like forcing the player down the rail line. Oh, okay, okay. Well, even it's not even that though. Like, it's not even that. It's like I, I, I do admit, like, I have an unreasonable, unhealthy relationship with story plots. Like, it's like anything. Like. The game could just be like, I wonder what's in that house over there. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going in that house now. Don't tell me what to do. Like, that, that's how I think. I don't know. It's just weird. I'm weird, I guess. Or it's like, the the plot is like, trying to make you feel a certain way about the game. And it's like, no, nah, fuck you. And then I try to do the opposite of that. Yeah, the story doesn't work until the player leaves the rails. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Absorption module. Oh, uh, we're taking absorption module on the fucking Rhino for sure. Alright. Let's do... Uh, oh, if I think Grand Typhoon was our MVP this time. <laughs> nice. Um... Hey, Ben. Let's grab some more crawlies. Alright, we'll do that. We'll get upgrades on the melting points and upgrades on the hackers with range. We're gonna get the range upgrade and also the speed upgrade, and then we're going to do the uh, attack upgrade as well. There we go. He's really relying heavily on those shields. Maybe if we do EMP on the shields, we, sh we could uh, do some nice damage. Get him right now. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, Rhino. You got this. I think he's unkillable. Yeah, he's unkillable now. Get shit on. I do like how I literally was like, wait, I'm losing? Yeah, and then I just fucking, <laughs> he's down to 83 now. All right. Uh, level three wasps or level one, two level one overlords. I'm gonna take the overlords and then we're gonna do mothership on them. And we'll do photon too. There we go. Upgrade to Rhino. Wow, Zalix. Coming to my chat. Saying, hey, Amarok. You little bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, Zalix? You 
things are looking grand, that's true. Uh, let's get another Overlord. Here. And then we'll do... Hi, Rain. It's too late. You're dead to me, Zalux. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dead dead on the old ice pack laptop. Wait, so did you did you get a new monitor and it broke? It's as dead as you were to rain. I'm more worried about his one hundred dollar plus possible expense and say hi to you. That's alright, Zalix. I know where your priorities lie now, it's fine. It's all good. No worries. Rain will remember this. It's like one of those. It's like a fall. One of those fallout things that pop up on the screen. Rain will remember that. Oh my God! Look, we're gonna get. It. We're gonna get. It. I think. Maybe not. We did go really heavy on the left side. Right, I think we got it. No, it's an old mounted mouth, but yes, Zalex has a probable uh, expense to replace, correct? Yeah. Uh, the monitor that I use is, uh, when I bought it a couple years ago, it was $129. Um, but I don't know what kind you use, but I got a 1080p monitor that does 60 um, from HP on Amazon. It's like 100, like, it's like, so it's like 129. It's like 20. I think it's like a, I think it's like a, I'm trying to do the math. I think it's like a 23 inch. I don't know. Hey, at the time it was a two day shipping. So I don't know if it's better now or not. We won. Let's go. Let's go. That was a comeback for the, for the ages. I've been on a 21 inch Dell that's older than kiddo. So, you know. Yeah, four games straight. Awesome. We're almost at 800 again. That's nice. We're almost at a 100,000 combat power. Heck of a comeback? Yeah, it was. It sure was. All right, we are now three games past when I said I was going to stop. So, um, I am going to get off now. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming out uh, and chatting. Um, if you are watching on YouTube and you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Climbed 100 plus. Yeah, I sure did. All right, bye, Emma. Hope your monitor situation gets better. Bye, Zalix. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Mumbo. Bye, Grace. See you in like two seconds. <laughs>